extreme body modification has been happening since the dawn of civilization. Different tribes from around the world alter their bodies in different ways in an effort to show that they are brave, can endure pain, or are in touch with higher beings. However, in the modern era, extreme body modifications have taken on a somewhat different turn. Before we start, if you haven't already, make sure to ring that bell so you never miss an upload. In this episode of Unusual As Usual, we're exploring the three-breasted hoax of Jasmine Tridevil, aka Alicia Hessler. Alicia James Hessler was born in 1993 in Tampa, Florida. She was born with a rare medical condition. Or was she? You see, in 2014, Hessler shot to fame when she began using the alias Jasmine Tridevil and posting selfies on the internet. Her newfound fame divided opinions, with some being amazed and others suspecting that her third breast wasn't real. Capitalising on her internet stardom, she gave a few interviews, but it soon emerged that she actually wasn't born with polymastia at all, but rather had underwent plastic surgery to give her the third breast. She said, I did have an issue with finding somebody that would do it, because they are breaking the code of ethics. I called 50 or 60 doctors and no one would do it. Over the course of the interview, Tridevil explained that she eventually managed to find a surgeon that would provide the procedure, which involved taking skin tissue from her abdomen and adding a silicon implant. The procedure cost $20,000 and she saved up for two years to pay for it. After the surgery, her mum wouldn't talk to her and wouldn't let her sister talk to her either, and that her dad was really unhappy with her. She also reportedly had to sign a non-disclosure agreement so that she couldn't reveal the identity of the doctor who performed the operation. Although she faced even more scrutiny, she seemed to be enjoying her newfound attention and repeatedly insisted that she's not a hoaxer, claiming, I know my breasts are real and I do not care what anybody thinks. So this begs the question, why did she get it done? Well, in an interview with Real Radio 104.1, she said, I got it because I wanted to make myself unattractive to men, because I don't want to date anymore. Which, given the fact that most men kind of like boobs, I'm not sure that getting another one was probably the wisest move. However, on the 17th of September 2014, Tridevil claimed that her strange look has landed her an upcoming appearance on Inside Edition and Jimmy Kimmel Live. Writing on her Facebook page, she said, so I'm flying to New York to appear on the Inside Edition show this Monday. Then going to be on the news, Jimmy Kimmel show and Vice magazine. Oh, and a few radio shows too. However, Mashable and Fox News reached out to both shows who each denied that they had interviewed or had any intention of interviewing Tridevil. One interview she did get though was with her local news station, 10 News Tampa, who she attempted to talk with about a self-produced reality show that she hopes will land on MTV. Obviously, 10 News weren't much interested in her pilot and asked if they could just see her third breast. Tridevil quickly lifted her shirt during the interview, but as 10 News put it, when we asked to see her third breast, she obliged, but with only a quick flash. When asked why we couldn't have a longer look, Tridevil responded, I'm not ready to do that right now because it's in episode six of my show. She once again claimed that it's not a hoax and that her film crew actually recorded the procedure saying, I plan to release it on my reality TV show and I don't really care what people think or say about me. But if you think her story was weird up until now, it's about to get even weirder because on the 23rd of September 2014, new stations managed to obtain an incident report from Tampa International Airport, which shows Tridevil had her luggage stolen. Two people were arrested and this property receipt was written, which contains a list of all the items she had lost, including a three breast prosthesis. Once again, the media went into meltdown. Hans Hubner, working for the German TV network RTL, interviewed her about the incident, which she still adamantly claimed was not a hoax. However, 
Hubner was one step ahead of her and, before the interview, sent his cameraman to a DIY shop to rent a thermal imaging camera. They then secretly filmed the interview with that camera. The thermal imaging camera works by detecting temperature through different levels of infrared light. The light is invisible to the naked eye, but show up as color on the camera. Red indicates normal body temperature due to the blood flow. Blue indicates no blood flow. Unsurprisingly, the images showed her third breast was indeed fake, exposing Tri-Devil's hoax once and for all. She had been applying a silicone prosthetic and blending it with makeup to look realistic. However, even during the interview, Hubner pushed her to tell the truth, which she once again denied she had told any lies and even ended up storming out of the interview. After being officially outed by the press for being a fraudster, Tridevil stopped all interviews and the question of was it physically possible began to be explored. Well, while the procedure is possible, surgeons are barred from carrying out any operations that could be harmful to human dignity. The ethical code outlined by the American Society of Plastic Surgeons dictates the principal objective of the medical profession is to render services to humanity with full respect for human dignity. Plastic surgeons have to follow these strict guidelines and can only enhance a patient's body. Before the dust even had chance to settle, the website Hustlers reported that Tridevil had been found dead in the early hours in her Tampa apartment. Police officers were called in the early morning by neighbors who say they heard loud screaming and fighting coming from her apartment. Investigator at the scene, Robert James, issued a statement saying, when we arrived at the scene, she was covered in blood and her breast had been ripped from her body. However, just as Tridevil hawks the web with her third breast story, Hustlers hawks readers with their equally believable story. A disclaimer on Hustlers website states that all content is a combination of real shocking news and satire news to keep its visitors in a state of disbelief. In the space of just a year, Tridevil had gained internet fame, been outed as a liar, given radio, TV and newspaper interviews, been outed a couple more times for lying and been falsely reported dead. Quite an achievement. Tridevil remained silent. That was until the 2nd of June 2019, when, in a bizarre twist to the story, she actually made a GoFundMe page, which read like this. My name is Alicia, aka Jasmine Tridevil. Back in 2014, I had claimed to the world that I had a third breast implanted. It was later proven to be a prosthetic. After many months of wearing the prosthetic, I have grown to adore the three-breasted figure. It is now my goal to transform this fantasy into a reality. Not only was she confessing that the whole episode had been an elaborate hoax, but she was actually asking people to donate money to her, to the sum of $70,000. Not only that, but she had apparently found a plastic surgeon willing to perform the procedure. Despite her GoFundMe video receiving nearly 33,000 views, she only managed to raise just over $1,000. Maybe they're assuming she will take the $70,000 and spend it on something else. Who knows? Maybe people have just had their fill of the three-breasted woman for now. But long before Tri-Devil, there was Total Recall, a 1990s cult classic where Arnold Schwarzenegger plays a man who takes a virtual vacation to Mars by having a travel company implant fake memories of a trip into his brain. In one scene, he heads to a bar called The Last Resort to find someone called Melina, but ends up meeting a three-breasted sex worker called Mary. Of course, it's not the only three-breasted woman that's appeared in pop culture. Regular viewers will already be familiar with the 2014's American Horror Story Freak Show, which featured Desiree a three-breasted freak show performer and her strongman husband. Whatever your thoughts, one thing is for sure, Tridevil managed to trick thousands of news organizations into giving her free publicity for the most dubious story in recent memory. Armed with only a handful of selfies, she managed to gain a reasonable following and came close to achieving her goal, 
which she said was to obtain an MTV reality show and discourage the attention of potential suitors by altering her appearance to attract fewer men. She obviously wouldn't have made it very far in the MTV vetting process, so the reason behind her bizarre hoax is still a mystery. However, like it or not, her story has reached practically every corner of the internet. And there we have it, the three-breasted hoax of Jasmine Tridevil, Alicia Hessler. No matter what you think of her, one thing is for sure. For a brief period, she fooled every magazine and news station. How about you? Do you think she's a genius prankster or a compulsive liar? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's all we've got time for today, but I'll see you all next week. And remember, stay unusual as usual. If you've enjoyed this video, you might like this one too. If you want to see more modified marvels, you can check out the full playlist by clicking here. Don't forget to ring that bell to make sure you don't miss out on next week's video. And if you have any ideas on what the next episode should be about, make sure you add it to the comment section below.